Well, here we go again. Another degenerate, young, punk-ass kid shooting up someplace. Thanks so much, uh, Lieutenant Governor of Texas Dan Patrick on the phone with us. Thanks for joining us today under the circumstances. I'm sorry for that. Um, what are you getting from police? Are you getting any direct information? Uh, we do have the shooter in custody. Uh, it's a 21-year-old male. Uh, and we have between 15 and 20 casualties. We don't know the number of fatalities. And um, I, I just can only thank our law enforcement, El Paso PD, and our Department of Public Safety. What else, if anything, can you tell us about the 21-year-old uh, man you have in custody? Have you, have you learned uh, anything about a potential motive? At this point, I would direct you to El Paso PD and let them release that information as they uh, decide to. You know, I was... I was uh, Looking at a story recently, um, I just saw in the last couple of days where Antifa is, is posting, uh, you know, they want to come to El Paso and do a 10-day siege. Um, clear message to Antifa, stay out of El Paso, um, stay out of Texas, basically. But we don't need uh, them coming in on September 1st. We didn't need them to begin with before this happened. But I would, uh, I would say to Antifa, uh, scratch Texas off your map and don't come in. Uh, it is not the time and place for them to come at any time but particularly in the aftermath of what's just happening in El Paso. So Antifa, message for the lieutenant governor, stay out of Texas. Antifa, message for the lieutenant governor, stay out of Texas. Antifa, message for the lieutenant governor, stay out of Texas. Antifa, message for the lieutenant governor, stay out of Texas. Antifa, message for the lieutenant governor, stay out of Texas. Antifa, message for the lieutenant governor, stay out of Texas. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, we had on a guest earlier, a former special agent in charge of ATF, who said, you know, he sees a real problem. He says the societal damage of mass narcissism and that, you know, you have so many copycats, you have so many people who just don't see a reason to live. And so they think that, you know, they're going to go out in a blaze of glory by doing something like this. It's going to be on social media. Their name is going to be known, et cetera, et cetera. But this is what you have when you have a bunch of young, juvenile immature punks who would rather create chaos than work and hold a real job. And that's something evidently that their parents did not teach them. Because they're given everything while they continue to live in their mommy's basements. They're more concerned with being popular on social media. And that includes those that run around with all these cameras at all these events hoping to be the next cameraman news internet star. It's to the point of pathetic and ridiculous. And if you'll notice, almost everybody shows up at the any event with cameras. They think they're journalists and reporters. They're assholes, degenerates is what they are, seeking fame through stupidity, all of them. They're like degenerate paparazzis looking to document and capture the next thing on camera or film. Look at them. They're all gathered around there like a bunch of parasites and termites, hoping to document and catch the next big thing so they can turn it into a media sensation. And then we got this dipshit out in California who shot up the garlic festival, killed a few people, injured a bunch of innocent bystanders for no reason other than he just being a degenerate punk-ass dipshit. A pussy, like most of them. Pussies. A bunch of degenerate, half-ass, piece-of-shit, human-being dipshits. Like the one who just shot up the Garlic Festival out in California. Pure degenerate dipshits. Pussies. Who can't handle the real world in real life. Goes on to say here, the 19-year-old. Barely out of high school, still dripping wet behind the ears. He's got all the answers to life by shooting up a bunch of in innocent people. Really? What the hell could he have to be pissed off about? He's a dipshit, a degenerate moron dipshit, ignorant son of a bitch, a punk, a punk ass fucking kid that's barely out of high school, 19 years old, shot up a garlic festival 
full of people last week in 2019. It clearly appears to me that we got a not a gun problem in the United States. We got a youth problem. A youth problem. A young person problem. These kids are degenerate idiots. They've watched too many damn violent video games, listened to too much damn violent rap music, and it's polluted their minds. Polluted their minds. All these violent video games. Violent rap music. And we were warned about this in the middle and late 1990s with these violent video games. How our youth would grow up in the decades to come. Well, we're seeing it, aren't we? We were warned about it, yet it was ignored. And this is the new millennial generation. They're just going to go around shooting up the whole world. They're going to show you who's boss. They're going to show you how things are done. Really? So far, almost all of them, of these little pussy Millennial, I call them degenerate faggots, have managed to be shot and killed or caught and captured. And none of them, none of them, you'll notice, ever come and bail out the other one or manage to afford the attorney's fees that's needed to hopefully get the other one out of trouble, and out of jail. They run like termites, cockroaches, and maggots. And this is what the youth under 30 years old today, mainly those under 25 and into their late, mid to late teens, this is what the youth of today is. Chicken shit. Pieces of shit, degenerate bastards. I've never seen such a worthless bunch of degenerate piece of shit fucks in all my life. As these young, dipshit, anti-facist, antifa creeps, young degenerate preteen punks, teenage punks, and those punks in their early 20s that think they're going to Rule the world through violence. Well, I got news for you. It ain't gonna happen. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. And what is fascism? Fascism is private ownership, private enterprise, but total government control and regulation. Well, isn't this the liberal philosophy? The conservative, so-called, is the one that says, less government, get off my back, get out of my pocket. 